going to start with thank yous in case I forget at the end. So, so I want to thank you both for being here. Yeah. Yeah. So, give us a couple of frights along the way. You know, it's not going to hospital before Christmas, and they're coming out on Thursday, and she's not been feeling too good today. So, I think we're going a little bit touch and go, aren't we? <laughs> you, 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 it's your birthday. Yeah. Right. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming. Um, I think on behalf of Isabel as well, thanks very much for all the cards, the gifts, the flowers, uh, messages. There's a lot. Some are here, some are back at the house. But uh, there's been a lot. The Queen did manage to make it within five minutes of the due time, didn't she? So five to one, we got one. Okay. Right. Also, unusually, start with an apology, really. Um, I was born in Scotland, grew up Dundee, same house as my dad, you know. I'm getting into this sort of family tree lark a little bit. Um, but not much. Born in the same house as my dad in Cotton Road. My first job was in accountancy. And when Colin said, well, can you say a few words? Oh, great. Between Christmas and New Year, I must have some time. So, leaving everything to the last minute as I usually do, um, I then decided, oh, we'll do something about, you know, when Chrissy was first, uh, sorry, his mum was first born. So, yeah, so if that was uh, 2011, 100 off 2011, it's 1911. So, if anybody wants a few speech details on 19, anybody born in 1911, please see me afterwards. <laughs> Realising the mistake last night, sort of about half past ten, he was back to the internet trying to work out what happened in 1912. Okay, um, right, carry on with the thank yous. Where's Craig? Can Craig, you stand forward for a minute. <laughs> Isabel likes Craig, by the way. <laughs> um, I'd really like to thank Craig for wasting quite a bit of my life recently. <laughs> Craig is totally consumed in family trees and all things in Scotland. I'll come back to that in a minute. If that wasn't bad enough, he's now managed to go and get Colin. For those who don't know, is my younger, not so good looking brother. <laughs> Colin stands for this. <laughs> So, between Craig and Colin, I, you can see the result of what's come, but I'm going to come back to that. I would also like to thank Colin for stitching me up for doing this. Uh, you know, when I, when I ring Mum, as I do on your occasion, if I'm unlucky enough to get Colin on the end of the phone first, if I'm ever met with, well, you'll never guess what. You know, yes. Here we go. Many exciting hours over the phone, who he's met, who's just arrived, who spent the week in the house, da 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 But really going back a year, you know, what's amazed me completely today, the work that Colin and Craig have done, is that I actually believed it was part of a very small and dying family. <laughs> you know, it's so sweetly, you know, as organised as we ever get. You know, about a year ago, nine months ago, we thought, well, It'll be Isabel's 100th in January, we should do something. Well, we'd maybe book a restaurant, get a small table. Um, a tiny event, really. But I think a lot of things have matured, and I guess, I guess Colin and Craig sort of get a bit, well, Craig can get a bit closer. I mean, we've gone from a, a tiny family, the Melville family, to the, and the Clark family, and everybody else that you've managed to coerce in here today. So I've actually gone from the tiny family to Isabel, loads of books of uh, our families, and you can see the number of people here today, so quite family, it's, it's absolutely amazing really, I mean, because you should never bring cards and paper to try and do something like this. Right, so I'll carry on with the, some more thanks for that. I think Craig, wherever he's disappeared to now, oh he's there now. I don't think I've ever met anybody with the enthusiasm. You know, I was born in Scotland, left, went to England, come back every now and again. But his enthusiasm for family, his enthusiasm for Scotland, given that 
most of his life has been in, I think most of his life has been in Shabbos. Yeah. It's absolutely fascinating, probably a lesson to us all. Colin's folding in his footsteps. Colin will tell you he's much more computer literate, although I don't know. Um, so, a huge amount of work's been done, and I guess, Colin, I don't know if there's anything you want to say before I ramble on for a little few minutes. Oh, I thought you might be. So, <laughs> listen to your ass. Uh, no, I, I just want to thank everyone for coming, and everyone's contributed, the various ones know who they are, that have contributed towards the tree. Um, as I say, Craig does have a passion for it. I mean, every time he used to fall in that place, and oh God, it's Craig on the phone again, he'll be on that tree yeah. for an hour. Well, you know the feeling, then, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it does become infectious, and there are some different ones here, Alison and you, and that have all contributed towards the tree. And even then, to the new generation. Hello. Sort of puts up with it. But I would like to thank you all for coming. You've all been sort of contacted by me, which starts off usually with a phone call, you don't know me, but. But I'd particularly like to thank Richard, our pipe major there. Have you got that? Yeah. Was he going to do that? I was, yeah. I'll shut up. Oh, <laughs> set it up, man. Yeah. I, I have the older brother by <laughs> Right. <laughs> so an event, as you'll know, as you'll, I'm sure you'll guess, an event like this takes a lot of organising. So I'd like to move on to thanking <coughs> Colin, Craig, Clara, Zara, Will, who's standing there with a video camera, so can't really do much. Hello. You can always <laughs> wave a stand up if you're not doing so already. Look, I don't know where Clara is. Carla. Carla's actually called Carla. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you get it right? You've known me long enough. Yeah. <laughs> but true enough, nobody does like you. Right. <laughs> I would like. Also, Mum was involved in that. I was at a high school for a week or so. <laughs> Thanking the, the Piper. Yes, Richard. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Isabel enjoyed it. So, uh, thank you very much for coming out. Very, very much appreciated. And if we can get a drink shortly. Yes, we'll get another drink. Yeah. Yeah. I you okay, moving on really quickly. A bit about Isabel then. Because he's out there. It's very much why we're here. Or Isabella. Isabella, isn't it? When well, you actually look at what Isabella as a name really means, I don't know if anybody knows. Hands up if you do. God's promise. Oh yeah? God's promise. And judging by the number of raffle tickets that Isabel's won over the years, then that's probably quite right. Born in Dundee in 1912. Uh, as it was 1911 yesterday, it was 1912 today. Uh, roughly the same years as Dundee Hibs or Dundee United performed. And yeah. the take-up brass band performed, believe it or not. What was Dundee like in 1912? Well, well, a couple of things I certainly didn't know. Uh, major change going on in the city. I didn't realise that Winston Churchill was the MP. Maybe I should have done, but Winston Churchill was the MP from 1908 to 1922. Whaling pretty much was dying. Uh, the whaling industry, which Dundee and Tapeau to a degree, then that, that sort of finished about 1912. Duke German journalism on the way up, which we all know. What else happened in 1912? Well, on the 6th of January, apart from Isabel being born, and New, New Mexico became the 47th state of the Union. Scott, uh, Captain Scott arrived at the South Pole, thinking he was the first, but then was slightly, slightly slight, 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 slight. The electric starter first appeared in a car. Probably not many people know that. Uh, the Titanic sunk. Uh, the world's first cannery in England, believe it or not, and that surprised me because I always thought it was in America. The first Keystone Cop film came out. Lawrence Oates left his tent with the immortal worlds. I'm going outside, or maybe sometime. Uh, Harriet Quornby, Quornby even, what was he? The first woman to fly the English Channel. And the Royal Flying Corps was formed late, later to become the army. And it was the Stockholm Olympics. Uh, great Britain came third. It would be great if we quite managed to do it this time. <laughs> um, Isabel moved to Tapeport, Sunny Bank, in uh, 1949. And has stayed uh, ever since, so 63 years in the same house. Uh, certainly from where we come from in England, very few people, so we're now living in England, very few people can say that. 
probably a few more in Scotland, but we guess that. Okay. So, I wanted to say a few words, I think, about what tape all means to us. Now, tape all to us was really what we call Big Grandma, <coughs> Isabel's mum, uh, Christine, Isabel, and that was tape all. So if you go to the tape all, you're going to see Isabel, Chrissy, Big Grandma. Big Grandma because she was bigger than Little Grandma, and Little Grandma lived in Sheffield. <laughs> so, and it was a second home to us. Uh, world of Wonder, you know, apart from the fact we probably got spoiled rotten, uh, <laughs> 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 I think it's fair to say that Grandma, Big Grandma, Chrissy, Isabel provided us a great stability. 60 odd years in the same place, very good to us. Um, that was a great experience. Think some of the stuff we used to do, you're going to Tapeport with the adventure itself. You've gone on the Fife here, the train, because the train used to run to Tapeport. Sort of the bridge book paid to that, really, 1966. There was also Antalo. Now, I don't know how many people in the room would have known Antalo. It's a bright and living day out of us. <laughs> very, very nice lady, but a very strict disciplinarian. And Uncle Bob, who was a great guy. So I think, you know, here we are in Tipper Golf Club. The sort of things that we used to spend the time doing on the common, on the boating lake. The harbour with the gizmo, the coal thing that tips stuff into the uh, barges that used to come by. The braes, the woods, the burn, the beach. Uh, meeting Chrissy from Tapeport Station after work, which is always quite a big event. Going to the cinema, didn't pause till 1966 because that was across the road from Sunnybank. We also got into a bit of money laundering at the time because, um, as again, I think most people know, we had Dad had the lemonade business. But back in the good old really recycling days, you know, you bought your bottle of bot uh, lemonade. You took it back to the shop and you got a deposit. Well, if you actually lived in the same place as the lemonade bottles, you got quite a good stream of income. Because they took the bottles out the back of the house, took them round the front, got your deposit and supplemented your pocket money. <laughs> now, we never actually admitted that to many people. Uh, birthdays in St Andrews were always taken to either St Andrews or Dundee for a rest of the meal. Um, so we got a huge amount to thank. Table for visible being the last remaining person. Who else was born in 1912? I've got a load of people born in 1911. <laughs> um, who else was born in 1912? Kim Philbin, Eva Braun, you know, Hitler's other half. Cal Martin, Ben Holden, Perry Crump, Perry Cromo, Sam Sneed, Enoch Powell, Willie Guthrie, Milton Friedman, Pope John Paul I. And Lady Bird Johnson. <coughs> and Visible. Um, right, I'm going to skip the next bit. Is Isabel went to the States in 1950. I think went a sea crossing. Spent a lot of time. Quite a long time over there. I think had some desires at the time to stay over, but came back. Um, very keen on the wreck here, very keen on the pictures, <coughs> um, and I've lost my thread, so I'll carry on. Uh, Isabel's lived in the same house for 63 years. The big achievement has been that actually managed to get central heating for the first time last year. Yeah. So 63 years living without central heating, which takes quite a bit of doing. Right, uh, when I was married, my reception, now, uh, I'm sure, I know there'll be some relatives here, so I hope I don't offend anybody, but uh, I was married in a place called Sherburn Um in, in England. Lots of English people and a few Scottish people having made the trip. Now, I had an Uncle Willie in our room, so I'm not hands off anybody who's related to Uncle Willie. Yep, that's yes. awesome. Right. Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, Arthur. 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 Arthur.
Okay, I think that'll do. Well done, thank you very much. 